Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're doing a pick a pile of messages from the mermaids with a bonus moonology advice. Go ahead and intuitively focus on whichever pile is called to you. I will timestamp down below in the description box. Okay, if you've chosen pile A, we have awareness. Use your intuition to become more aware of what's going on around you at this time. It could also be time to look under that rock. This mermaid wants you to know that it's time to ground yourself and become more aware. Your senses may be heightened at this time. Being aware of potential scenarios can aid you as you swim through calm or troubled waters. Notice the details as you float through your life. Your awareness is a beautiful and natural gift that can offer insights even before a situation has fully revealed itself. Clairvoyance and mediums have a heightened sense of awareness on the earthly and spiritual planes. Perhaps you're developing your sixth sense. If so, this card confirms it's the correct path for you and that your gift of heightened awareness can benefit others as well as yourself. Meditation is a wonderful way to enhance your awareness. When you meditate, it can help to put you in a place of enchanted feeling and seeing on many levels. So you automatically become more aware. Develop your perception by meditating with awareness as your intention and focus. When you become more aware, you tend to notice things you may otherwise not have seen. Awareness can also help you to foresee any potential challenges in life, thereby enabling you to take action to avert circum certain circumstances. There might be someone around you who could benefit by becoming more aware. They, or you, could be too close to a situation to see it clearly. Therefore, consciously focusing on awareness will help them or you to see the situation from a place of heightened perception. The advice from the Moonology is new moon in Pisces. Meditate and contemplate. If you have chosen pile B, 249. Let me just write that timestamp down. You have gentleness. In the third quarter moon, adjustments are required. Be gentle towards yourself and others at this time. Being harsh or using brute strength won't benefit you. There's great strength in gentleness. <clears throat> this merman says that looks can be deceptive and gentleness can be found in the most unlikely people and situations. If in doubt, just look into the heart of a person, for this is where the source of true gentleness resides. The merman holds his torch of truth so that it may illuminate the path of gentleness for you. This card is asking, are you being gentle with yourself? It's easy to be critical and berate ourselves. Our internal dialogue isn't always gentle. So this is something to be mindful of. If you catch yourself being harsh, then forgive yourself and try a softer internal narrative. You'll be surprised at the effect this can have on your general well-being. Someone around you is in need of gentleness. Many people use a tough love approach in life, but this isn't beneficial for everyone, especially those who are of a more sensitive disposition. Gentleness is key here. Think of the wind blowing softly through the trees. It's powerful enough to move the leaves, demonstrating that there's strength and gentleness. Sometimes we feel we need to be tough to navigate certain situations in life. Yet with gentleness comes flexibility, and this means we bend, but don't break. This alone is worth pondering. Is there a person who needs to treat you more gently? If so, speak your truth from your heart with kindness and clearly tell them how hard their approach makes you feel and that a more gentle attitude would reap greater rewards for everyone. At 
506, if you've chosen pile C, we have love and full moon in Libra. A win-win outcome is forecast. Open yourself to universal or romantic love. Put yourself out there and maybe go on a date or rekindle the love within your current relationships. This mermaid is bathing in the bliss of unconditional love. She loves herself, which means she's able to be fully loved by others. When you know your true value and embrace the fact that you're love and lovable, you'll attract perfect loving relationships. Love is the fragrance of enlightened spiritual people. It can be felt in their aura and is the residue of their presence. This is pure, unconditional love. People feel romantic love for each other. To love someone and yet also set them free is a beautiful thing. When our emotions become involved, we become attached to and dependent on someone. We can face issues. Perhaps you're experiencing this right now. Remember, we're all born free, which means we have the freedom to choose the path we take in life. Yes, it's possible to be in love and still be free. This isn't an excuse to play around with the hearts of others. Being free while in a loving relationship means you give space for the other to flow and grow. It's still possible to remain loyal and in love while loving them unconditionally. The act of giving and caring is an expression of love. If you feel drawn to be of service to others, then this card's message is affirming that. Practicing random acts of kindness is another wonderful expression of love in action. Showing love to a stranger will lift their spirits and fill their heart with hope. There you go, guys. Have a great day.